Today, I'm going to be installing the fastest web browser on Earth. Yes, Thorium. This is a free and open source web browser based on Chromium, designed to deliver better performance and efficiency compared to other web browsers based on Chromium, like Edge, Chrome. So let's install this. Installing this also can be a bit tricky. Uh, I'll talk about this browser as we go through this video, don't worry. And there are a couple of things you need to know. Okay, so this is the official website. If you wanna download this, just go to the links section here. You can download this for almost all the platforms out there. This is available for Linux, Mac, Android, Windows. Sadly, I don't see the iOS, so yeah, no iOS. So let's say, for example, you're on Windows, you can go to the Windows link and it will take you to the GitHub page. And from here, you can download the zip file or exe file to install this. So whichever you prefer, go for that. I think just go for the installer, okay? It will make your life easier. I'm gonna use the winget plus the GUI uh, using the Microsoft Power Toys command palette thingy. Okay, this is what I have been using instead of Windows Search and it has some cool features. I'm not gonna talk about this. I've already made a video on this. So I'm gonna go and search for this on Winget. So I'm gonna install this one with the AVX2. There are two options because that's what I see in the GitHub page. So we're gonna download the exact one from here. And it says installing, already downloading. So we're just gonna wait. So basically I'm using the Winget to install this. But again, as I said, you can go ahead and uh, get the exe or zip file from the official GitHub page. I also saw a comment in one of my videos uh, someone was asking for a web browser based on Chromium or similar to Chrome that is lightweight. So I think I replied to him that try Thorium because I think this is the only web browser based on Chromium uh, that is super fast. Like there are many web browsers out there based on Chromium like Edge, Opera, Brave. Almost all the popular web browsers are actually based on Chromium. But that doesn't mean they are like better than Chrome or faster than Chrome. Most people still use Chrome. So this is where this web browser comes in. It's lightweight. It focuses on performance and you know all that. So yeah, if you want fast, lightweight web browser based on Chromium or similar to Chrome, Go ahead and try this out. This is also my first time trying this out. Now it's installed, let's open it out. And we're gonna do a few comparisons too, don't worry. And uh, let's sign in. I'm actually going to use this web browser for a couple more days, even like week or month. Uh, if it is actually good, I am actually going to use this as my default web browser. Right now, my default web browser is Chrome Beta and let's see how it does it. So I'm gonna actually sign in with my Google account. You know what, I'm gonna set this as a default web browser right now so I can test this more later if something goes wrong or anything like that. I'm gonna make a video. If nothing goes wrong, then I'm gonna be keep using this. You know how it is. So this is the Thorium web browser installed and you'll see a few things are a little bit different like the icon, okay, they are blue, okay. And there are some features that you can enable and disable. There are a few visual changes that you will actually notice, like uh, the incognito mode. In Chrome, everything is like seamless, you know, but in here, some of these things are highlighted and this is actually good. Like if you wanna open the incognito mode, it's like red, it's highlighting itself basically. And extension thingy, is also highlighted. If I go into about section, this is the version. And one thing about this web browser is that it can't do a automatic update. So you'll have to do it manually. And there is one more thing that you can use to update this is called Thorium Updater. And you can use this to update. I'm just gonna open the Thorium and Chrome web browser side by side with same website. And I'm just gonna go and check on the task manager to see which one is using more resources. Both of them are doing nothing in the background, okay? So you can see uh, Thorium is actually using less RAM compared to Google Chrome because Google Chrome comes with many Google thingies in it and all that. So it's obviously going to use more resources. So yeah, Thorium actually uses less resources. Now let's play same video on 
both web browsers and let's see the CPU usage, okay, the resources. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see the RAM usage is still low on Thorium and Chrome is using more, okay. On the CPU side, they're using almost similar amount of CPUs. So again, as I said, this web browser is like a Chrome, but improved for performance and privacy and all that. You can say this web browser is like a lightweight version of Chrome. The default Google Chrome will come with many Google services in it and all that. That's why it uses a little bit more resources compared to this one. So this one is slimmed down. I think I'll be repeating myself at this point. So yeah, you know, what's up, okay? And there are some other interesting projects that I'm actually interested, this thing called Thorium OS. And I'm actually gonna try this out. This is a operating system based on Chromium OS, just like Chrome OS. I'm gonna have to install this to know because uh, demos on the websites are just not available. <laughs> but uh, small instructions are here, how to install it. I can use the Etcher, I know that, Chromebook, recovery utility or even Rufus. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I use Rufus all the time. So I'll use Rufus to install this. Uh, I don't know if it can be installed on virtual machine. That would be great. But even if I can't install this on virtual machine, I'll, I'll actually try this out. There are two interesting projects on Thorium. Okay, one is web browser and the OS, entire OS. Imagine that. And it's like Chrome OS. Maybe it does something better than Chrome OS. Let's see. That's for the some other video, okay? For now, that's it. Yeah, if you're looking for a fast web browser that is based on Chromium, yeah, you should try this out. I've heard only the good things about this web browser. So I'm like, yeah, let's try this out. And right now, I've already set this as my default web browser. I'm gonna be testing this, using this almost all the time now because it's the default web browser. Actually, let's pin it to the taskbar, okay? And I'm already feeling like this is a good web browser because it, it uses the less resources. But only thing, again, that it's missing is the auto update. It can't update itself, which is not a big deal actually for me. Or maybe it can be a big deal for most people because you'll have to go and check for the new version manually. Okay, so you will never know when the new version drops out. So for that, you can use the Winget. Let's say I'm gonna search here Thorium, and this is the latest version right now. I can go about Thorium. Okay, I can look up here. This is the latest version, 174, and here, 174 at the end. Okay, so I know this is the latest. And when there is the new one in the Winget, I can just install it again, which will perform a upgrade. Or I can go to the GitHub page, get the installer, and then do the upgrade. Other than that, I think it's a good web browser. Again, I'll be using this as my default web browser now. Let's see how it does it, okay? Again, I have heard only the good things about this web browser, so. I'm pretty sure it's a good web browser. And yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.